And it's not looking too bad here today, but very hot on this very first day of hurricane season. Craig? Yeah, pretty hot out there today, but then we're in summertime. There's no more big cold fronts coming, so this is it until October. Here's what's going on, though, this afternoon. Unfortunately, let's hope this isn't it until October. A busy start to the hurricane season. Today, the first day of hurricane season for the Atlantic, and we're already on our third system that advisories are being issued on now. Uh, clearly, you can make the low pressure area here. It's a rather large circulation here, and rain, heavy rain, is going to be the big problem in flooding for parts of Mexico and Central America in the coming days. Computer models show that it just meanders here right through much of the week. It could even work its way back over land here. This is the Thursday time frame. Then after that, it is forecast to begin to move to the north in the central Gulf of Mexico. And the reason it's kind of trapped down here, at least for much of the week, it's because of something known as the Central American Gyre. It's just a big low pressure area that forms here during the summer rainy season, the monsoon down there in Central America. And for much of the week, it's going to be trapped under that. The gyre is forecast to move a little bit to the west, and that's when that system does get a nudge to the north. Here's the latest advisory. The first advisory is at 5 o'clock today. And then here's the future track also incorporating that kind of stalled motion down here in the southern Bay of Campeche. And then after that, it's to the north, uh, of course, Lots of uncertainty in this time frame of what it's going to be like. Uh, could it be a weaker system, a stronger system? Too early to tell. Certainly something we'll keep our eyes on. Every guys holiday park camera this afternoon. Some clouds out there, but otherwise looking good. High was 90, low 77, pretty close to the normals for this time of year. So typically hot, 88 and 76, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, and 89 and 83 in Key West. Winds right now have been gusting up to around 20 miles an hour, but nothing too bad. The breeze is going to build in the coming days, and the uh, breeze is also going to start carrying more showers with it. Current temperatures mainly in the mid to upper 80s, the satellite loop through the day, showing the high clouds blowing off to the southeast, the low clouds heading off to the northwest. A bigger picture showing the low pressure area down there, the tropical depression now in the southern Gulf of Mexico. In terms of uh, temperatures across the country, the south and southeast warm and sunny in the northeast today, kind of cool, cloudy, and some showers around as well. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s through much of New England. Our forecast for tonight, late night showers, possibility we'll see some showers this evening in the Keys, breezy along the beaches, a low temperature near 78. Tomorrow, a mix of sun and some showers passing by early in the day and then again very late in the day, most likely evening. Tropical breeze and a high near 88. Pollen count showing that mold is high, but everything else is low and taking us through the rest of the week looking a little bit more stormy after a pretty nice weekend and could be pretty breezy at times as well. Back to you. Craig, thank you.